Hello and uh, welcome once again. This is Nelson Karaja for Global Oak Media. Today we want to do a quick and easy tutorial uh, to show how you deal with glass materials inside Element 3D and especially if you are dealing with a native, uh, one of the primitive objects that are available in Element 3D. Let's do a new composition and I will call this uh, primitive uh, glass material or just uh, primitive glass. I'll do HD composition 1080 and 10 seconds is enough for purposes of this. Go ahead and put a new solid and call it uh, element 3D. Uh, leave it as comp size and there we are. Let's insert our element uh, 3D. And if we come to our effect control panel, uh, let's go to our scene setup. And here we are. Let's first of all create a base uh, where we will load our object. Uh, so we've loaded a plane and let's just scale it out. And uh, for this one, I will, let's see what we can, what kind of metal we can put on this one. Let's put this one, uh, grudge metal painted. There we have that one. Okay, and uh, alignment, let's just align that from the bottom. Let's go in and put a cylinder. We want to actually do uh, something like uh, a turntable and in a glass cage is our cylinder. We'll transform that to also align from the bottom. Let's reduce the height so that we have something not too big height wise and then we scale it a little bit. I will go ahead and um, get some material for this one. Let's put some black steel on this one. Okay, there we have our black steel material. And let's duplicate this. And on the second one, let's put a different material. Uh, but let's reduce the size, the scale and lift it up a little bit so that it can be somewhere inside of the outer casing of our turntable. We are making a turntable and uh, let's see what else we can put here. Okay, let's go ahead and put another object. Uh, let's come to the starter pack. So the, let's put the basic uh, clock that we all know and love and let's see if we can position it uh, to sit on this okay there we have i think that's good enough uh, for that so now to show how we deal with glass material uh, i'll go ahead and put Actually, before we do that, I want this plane uh, to be reflective, or at least to, to be uh, to have some reflections here, reflecting uh, whatever objects are put here. So let's go and put reflect mode to mirror surface, and right away we can already see we can see some reflections. And uh, let's make this plane double-sided and. Um, we come to advanced settings and let that also be uh, we, we draw the back faces normally what happens is if you don't have the back faces for example now if we remove that if you turn your object here you can't see that plane which is okay if you just wanted to hold shadows but if you want it to be to serve like maybe a surface uh, like a table surface then you need to be able to see the back side so we need to put that so now you can actually see uh, this service has a back side so now we have our 
our object and now we can go ahead and put uh, a new item here let's put the box uh, cube uh, let's align it from the bottom as well and let's scale it out so it covers i want all these other objects to be inside it so let's scale that out until it covers everything else now here is our box and uh, what we wanted to do is to be able to have it as a glass material what we do is we come to the default material and we can load um a physical uh, shade here let's put glass on it there you have it now the only thing is of course you'd expect that if it's glass you can see inside but in this particular case we can't see inside this box all we need to do is to come down here to the advanced tab and then you change the blending mode from normal to add or screen either of them will do just fine i'll go for add on this particular case and there we have our our box which is glass the only thing also you can see here is that we don't have you know if it's glass you expect to be able to see the inside of these walls you know for example if you're looking at it from this angle you should be able to see the inside of this other wall you know from here you can you should be able to see this other one the same case now uh we need to go back to our advanced tab and also like we did with our surface plane uh we come here and we draw uh back faces and there you have your your 3d uh, cube which is glass and as you can see it's all set up Let's put an environment uh, that we can uh, use for this. Let's see how that one works. Yeah, pick any uh, environment that suits you. In my case, I'll let that one be. Okay, now we want to be able to turn... Um, let me first of all put back this cylinder. Okay, there we are. We need to be able to get the inside of this um turntable rotating to do that i need uh, both the alum and this cylinder which represents the inside of that turntable in their own groups in their own folder so let's go ahead and create um a new folder and i'll put it right outside of everything and then i come and i get the alum and yeah, that one, I get both of these and I put them inside this group, uh, this folder, and I can allocate that to group number two, while everything else is in group one. So there we have our turntable. Now, if we go back to After Effects, there we have our cube our glass cube let's create a new camera go ahead and turn that down a little bit and okay it's not too big but that will serve to illustrate what we need okay there we have our cube um just for show purposes i don't think i need to put other things but let's see if we just put a new light there and let's give it a color and we parallel light we have that and it adds something to this particular scene now let's see if we can turn that light to be from above there we have okay i'll go ahead and turn in uh turn on our environment if you come to render settings uh, physical environment i just want to turn on that uh, just you know for 
purposes of showing where we are. It's not necessary, but uh, let's just turn that. If it's too bright, we can turn it down. Okay. And the only other thing that I need to do in this particular one is to get the glass, uh, the inside of this turntable rotating to do that. Uh, we come to element 3D layer and we come to group number two and we go to particle uh, replicator. We come to rotation and if we do that, you can see if we turn it on the Y axis, we have our turntable function on now. So uh, instead of keyframing that, let's alt click on that. And then we type here time star 50, for example. And that should get our turntable uh, going. All right, that's okay. I want to rotate our environment a little bit so that I can remove this shine here, which is because of this uh, window that is right here. So if you come to our red uh, settings, again, uh, our red settings, we come to our environment, uh, physical environment, and we rotate that. Uh, let's rotate it on the, not on the Z, no. Uh, let's rotate it on the Y. Okay, I just want to avoid that window. Okay, I'll let it be there. Okay, ultimately we can choose to hide our, our environment or leave it on. So there you have your turntable and it's rotating. Okay, and the only other thing that probably we can do is just for fine tuning, let's go back to render settings and let's enable our ambient occlusion and let's put that as ray traced so that we can get that nice shadow uh, that shows that it's actually sitting on this um, table. We can also enable our shadows and as well let's just do ray traced and there we have our there we have our turntable and our glass. So that is actually all you need to do to turn uh, any object that is primitive in uh, element 3D as glass material and you can be able to see through. So if we output this, you should be able to see uh, your glass uh, cage and your turntable inside rotating there. That concludes our tutorial. So thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, we. See you next time for another tutorial.